let us investigate the effect of external factors on rusting. We will need the following items for the experiment. Nails containing iron. Distilled water. Sodium chloride. Freshly boiled distilled water. Edible oil. Anhydrous calcium chloride. And test tubes with stoppers. A beaker. A funnel. A pipette. A spatula spoon. And a glass rod. We place nails in four test tubes. We add a little distilled water to the first test tube. We pour the water with some table salt into the second test tube. We add freshly boiled distilled water. It contains less dissolved gases from the air and a little edible oil to the third test tube. The layer of oil will prevent the air in the test tube from dissolving in the water. We add calcium chloride, which will absorb the water vapor present in the air, to the fourth test tube. We seal the test tubes with stoppers and put the rack aside for a few days. If we examine the contents of the test tubes afterwards, we'll see certain changes. In the first and second test tubes, the nails were in contact with air and water, so they become covered in rust. However, no rust formed in the third and fourth test tubes. In the third test tube, the nail was in contact with water, but there was no access for air. In the fourth test tube, there was no water. It appears that air and water are needed for rusting to occur. Did adding salt have any effect on corrosion? Let us look once again. It turns out that the addition of salt accelerated the rusting. That is why the salt spread on streets in winter damages the bodies of cars.